Hello, my friends. I just want you to know that you're not at war with the flesh right now. You are at war with principalities. All right? You're not fighting against people. You're not fighting against anything or anyone else. You're fighting against things that you can't see. All right? Just by you being alive every day, you are on the battlefield. We're living on the battlefield, really. Literally, that's what Earth is. It's one big battlefield. All right? Our spirits live inside of our body. Your body is like a costume to your spirit. Okay? This battle that we're in is not a battle in the flesh. This battle that we're in is in our own minds. Okay? Our minds are like a computer system. And the devil likes to try and upload viruses to our minds. Since our minds are like a computer system. If you really think about it, when you're sitting somewhere and you're like, Damn! I called this dude three times. Now he's ignoring me. You know, you start getting mad and you start thinking people are against you when really they're busy doing something, you know. The devil likes to play with our heads. He likes to mess with our minds. He likes to twist things around in our own heads and make things that's not, you know, that make you think things that are not true. You know, the devil loves confusion. He loves to make things confusing and to make things tense. He likes to watch people fight and argue. But whenever things start turning that way, for your own good, just remember that you're not at war with the flesh. You are at war with good and evil. Okay? Good versus evil. Obviously, we're on the good side. But evil's always going to try and pull your hair down to the ground. You know what I mean? You can't let it. You just got to trust in God each day. Each day. Take my advice on this. I wouldn't tell you something that wasn't true. I myself, every morning before I even leave wherever I'm staying, I ask God to guide me. I ask Him to give me wisdom and to protect me from all the evil things that I cannot see. Alright, I'm not a hero. I'm nobody special. I'm exactly like you are. I don't even know who you are, but yet you and me are the same. Alright, it's just what I do, myself. I trust in God each and every day. Periodically, throughout the day, I talk to God. I say, Father, please guide me. You know, this is happening, that's happening, I'm not 100% about this, that. You talk to God just like you would anybody else. Believe me, God knows a little bit more about this world than you and me do. So, you know, throughout the day, talk to God. Explain things to God and ask God for guidance and wisdom. Alright, you ain't got to tell nobody. What you talk to God about is between you and God. There ain't nobody in this world that has the power to decode what you say to God unless you yourself tell them. Alright, so you have no reason, you have no excuse to not talk to God. I'm just saying, God wants to hear from you. He wants a relationship. He wants you to rely on Him. He doesn't want you to walk this world yourself because He knows you're going to screw something up. I know I will screw something up without God. That's why I, myself, ask God for wisdom and guidance and for protection against the things in which I cannot see. Alright? I'm only telling you this because, I, you know what I mean? It's my job to put this out there. Alright? I got a command. I need to follow that command and do it. Just like you. If you get a calling from the Spirit, don't ignore it. You'll know. You'll know if the Spirit wants you to put something out. Do it. Don't ignore it. And in the future, you'll most likely be glad you did it. Alright? The Spirit talks to you every day. Don't ever say you don't hear the voice of God because you hear it every day. You probably just don't know it. Alright? God speaks to our spirits. When you talk to God, you're speaking from spirit to spirit. You're not speaking mouth to ear like we do in our, you know, in the physical realm. When you start speaking something spiritual, 
Like when you start talking to God, you're talking spirit to spirit. All right, God gives you a lot more senses than six senses. I'll tell you that. I know scientists and these uh, politically correct people want you to think that you only have six senses. They want you to think that that you are less capable than what you really are. All right, the school system. I'm sure you already know this stuff. I'm just telling you straight up. The school system is designed to make you stupid to the spiritual realm. They want you to be in the physical realm. They want you to think that the physical realm is all that exists. When the physical realm, <laughs> and believe it or not, is probably the simplest part of life. You know, it's the battlefield. That's all the spiritual realm is, is the battlefield. Whether you're a little tiny bug on the ground, that little tiny bug on the ground is no different than you. It's simply a spirit that's living inside of a body. Just like your spirit is living inside of your body and my spirit is inside of my body. The bugs that are crawling around are in the same shoes we're in. They're scavenging. they got to find food. You know, they communicate with one another some way, somehow. I don't know how they do it, but they do communicate. All right, we're all in this world together. Don't forget that. Love your brothers and sisters and just spread peace. Because after all, that's what God is. He is the God of peace. All right, our job is to spread peace. Our job is to set an example to the world. All right, don't act a fool. Don't do stupid stuff. Because it's just going to come back on you in the end. What goes around comes around. You steal something from somebody... Somebody's going to steal something you love. Alright, so don't take nothing from nobody. Don't beat nobody up. Don't start any problems, alright? Because it's just going to come back on you. It's a natural law of the universe. What goes around comes around. You spread peace, peace comes back to you. But if you spread negative energy and you do people wrong, well now, that's going to come back to you. Just thought I'd let you all know. Let the God of peace be with you.